Jensen, but Torbergsen with the ace high is still best. Gus checks. Torbergsen started playing poker after watching it on TV, and Gus was on TV all the time. As you mentioned, he became his idol. Turn card is a nine, and Gus Hansen takes the lead with a pair of nines. You know, you'll find a lot of younger players on the European Poker Tour. Patrick Antonia says Gus Hansen is like Doyle Brunson over there. Gus is what, uh, 34? <laughs> He's one of the old guard, huh? Hansen bets 3,200 with his nines. A straight draw for Torbergsen on the turn. And he's going to come along. Torbergsen on the draw. River card now is the jack, and Torbergsen hit his straight. That also gives Gus two pair. Yeah, quite an unfortunate river for Gus Hansen. Hansen first to act, and he checks his two pair. Torbergsen. What to do, what to do against his guy. He bets 12000 Gus thinks maybe you got it. I'll let you bluff me. Gus going to lay his two pair down. Well, well, Gus just doesn't win by aggression. He also wins with good instincts. That was a good read. An excellent read by Gus Hansen. Back over to table two now. After the flop, Phil Locke is way behind with a pair of threes. His buddy Michael Carroll paired his ace and checked. Phil has been everyone's punching bag here of late. Locke puts out a bet of 1,900. Michael Carroll. 3,500 more. He's going to raise it, and that's the way Phil Locke's day has been going. Michael Carroll's been playing well, and he's been pushing Phil around. Phil gives it up. No speech. Carroll takes the pot. Well done, kid. There we go. I had you pre-flop once again. I wasn't going to be raised yet. It's like I always have you pre-flop, and you always out-flop me, or you out-bluff me, you, you out-play me. Tape too. Yeah. See that camera and that one? I'm going to watch it. It's $9 million at stake, you know? I need that money. I got bills to pay. <laughs> $9 million. You didn't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I don't have any bills, but I have things right. I want to buy that cost right. a lot. Wow. You know? Nine million is the number everyone has their sights set on. But as we go to the outer tables, we find Chris Moneymaker has his eyes squarely focused only on Leo Wolpert. It looks like speed dating. Wolpert bet 11,100. Chris makes the call. Wolpert turns over two pair and clearly a misread by the 0-3 main event champ. That is a face full of agony. Elsewhere, Phil Helmuth just bet into a big pot on the turn. Bye-bye, Phil, or bye-bye, somebody. I'm sorry, is Phil doing stretches during the hand, or are his shorts just bunched up? Action on Bobby Law, a frequent sparring partner of Phil's, and he lays it down. Don't worry, Pat. Want show? They have been bluffing back and forth. Oh. All right. Oh. Once again. Four deuce squad douche. <laughs> you guys want to play some poker with me? All Let's right. go, baby. You want to play poker? Play the play-up. What would a main event be without a new catchphrase from Phil Hill? Welcome back to the Rio. Good call, B. And the sweet sounds of a Jean Robert Ballon double up. Jean Robert mm. getting richer out there. Dude, maybe I should have thought about that a little longer. The insta-call with second pair and ten kicker. Jean Robert can insta-call, scoop a pot, stack his chips, and make a speech. It's, it's a gift. But you know what? I'm not playing another hand. <laughs> I'm just going to glide into tomorrow. My nice little tower. I'm not playing another hand. These chips are locked up. Elsewhere, Mike Matasso never shuts it down. He's put out a bet. Uh, I don't know you're going to show me 10-7. You know, you can have it, but I mean... You know, I just want you. To, I just want you to shove all in. How's that? <laughs> See, this way I'll explain to you. Cards have minds. <laughs> I got the power of positive thinking. The old Mike misses. The new Mike never misses. Uh, I'm such a the new Mike never misses, but he also yeah. talks as much as the old Mike. You have to understand when you when you know you're going to win, and you, you think win. positive, you win. If you actually think you're going to lose, you lose. Mind over matter, right? If I learned this the hard way, turn the <laughs> off. <laughs> a little of the old Mike left in the new Mike. Rejoining table two and the continuing struggles of Phil Locke. His pocket four is being hammered by the pocket aces of Mo Saquon after the flop. Saquon betting 12,000. 12 is probably a good bet. Have we seen Phil Locke win a hand today? No, nah, he is not a happy camper. 
Now I'm probably supposed to just go all in, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 46. Phil says he found his epitaph at age 14 into this world without my consent, leaving this world against my will. I like that. It is a long road to hoe. See? This is why it's not easy. He's Showing his hand to a passerby. Why not? <laughs> my hand's still alive. It has to be people at the table that see it. To now he's playing the role of tournament director. You show me if I fold? The last time you answered, you, you answered correctly him. and I did the wrong thing. Or the right thing. Did I do the right thing? Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because he made it straight. You don't want to answer anymore? I got it right last time when you talked, right? Is that what happened? Win or lose, Phil is full of Hollywood. It's a three-act wow. play before he mucks. See, in the olden days, I couldn't fold this. They're just pocket fours. He finally oh, folds. No, two tens with the ten of diamonds. In the olden days, I would just, I would have to stick it all in. I couldn't see any other way out. <laughs> yeah. Sackwin gets <laughs> Phil again. Game. A good performance by Locke. I'm not so sure everyone bought it. It's an age-old act, this Hollywooding, which unfortunately never gets worn out in the poker room and is the subject of this week's edition of The Nuts. I'll try and explain the term Hollywooding. Basically, it just means acting. Generally, it's when you have no intention of calling or playing a hand, and you sit there for a minute. You're basically deceiving with some theatrical overacting. And you're like... Oh. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Then you look at your cards really sad. It's obvious to everybody at the table that it's an act. If you've ever watched porn, that is Hollywooding. It's really bad acting. I can't take it. My good pal, Bill Helmuth, does it more than anybody. No! idiot that's not hollywooding that's just that's just frust me showing my frustration there's sort of a code that if you have a hand you bet your hand you don't hollywood among people you know just just get to your bed in the poker world you can sleep with someone's wife but don't hollywood them i've been playing poker my entire adult life and i didn't realize until now that you can sleep with somebody else's wife it really is a great game <laughs> Back to the feature table on the Milwaukee's Best Light Pocket Camp. Gus Hansen with Ace Queen offsuit. Gus named one of People Magazine's 50 Sexiest Men Alive a few years back. I finished just outside the list. I bet you're number one on a lot of other lists, though. 3,300 is a raise to Stephen Massa. He has pocket sixes. He lives on the island of St. Martin in the Caribbean. Massa re-raised the action to 8,000. And now it's back to Gus Hansen. It's so obvious that Gus is counting Massa's chips. You know, he could be more subtle about it. <laughs> and Gus now is doing some math. It looks like he's carrying a number in his head that's really hard to do without paper. Hansen needs 4,700 to call, but he may be doing more than that. He does re-raise Massa all in. With pocket sixes, Stephen Massa. If Massa knew it was a coin flip, I think he'd gamble here. But I don't even know how you start to figure out what Gus's cards are, ever. Massa right now probably going through the possibilities. Gus could have kings. He could have do seven. <laughs> By the way, how many players at this table are wearing earrings? Okay. And he does fold. He can fold. Gus and fold Gus puts the, the pressure on and takes the pot. Gus, though, today, still pretty mellow, very quiet. Please, please. Well, whatever he's doing is working, collecting chips at this featured table. At an outer table, Phil Helmuth flopped a pair of aces. Tony.